chances are if you're watching this video, you're going through a problem similar to the one that I have right now. You've probably run out of space on your Switch's old SD card. Well, I'm here to tell you that changing that SD card to a newer, bigger one and transferring your data isn't as hard as you think it is. I know it's a bit scary, so if you want some help, you can watch this video and I'll help walk you through it. Let's get started. Okay, so the very first thing you're actually going to want to do seems like it is common sense, but a lot of people I feel like actually don't know you can do this. So on your Switch, probably when you turn it off, you're just hitting the button once or holding down the home button and hitting sleep mode. Well, before you remove the SD card and transfer a new one, you're actually going to want to completely power down your system. So all you're going to do to do that is take the power button. You are going to hold it down. And doing that is going to bring up this little power options here. So go ahead and you can tap power options and then hit turn off. And that is going to completely shut down your system. So this system is completely off now. It's not just in sleep mode. Okay, after that, go ahead, pull up the little flap here for the kickstand and pop out that old SD card. All right, from here, we're gonna do some stuff on the computer. Okay, the next thing you're gonna wanna do is create an empty folder on your desktop. You don't even really have to give it a name, just new folder is fine. From there, take that old SD card, so the card that currently has all your saves on it. Go ahead, use a memory card reader, whatever you have to connect it to your computer, put it in there, and you're gonna see this file called Nintendo. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna open up that new folder, take the Nintendo file, and drag it over. Nothing too complex. Now, it might take a while to do this. Um, this is actually my husband's Switch, and it says it's going to take eight minutes. He doesn't have as much data as I did. My old card was 128 gigs, and it took about 20 minutes to move that. So be prepared to wait a little bit if you are going to do this. But from here, we just wait it out. Okay, the next thing we are going to want to do is we're actually going to want to take that new SD card. So that is the one that we ultimately want to end up in our switch. So I've actually already put it into the slot here and we are going to go ahead and format that. So that's really important to do before we move our save data, just because once you format an SD card on the switch, it deletes all data off of it. So we're going to go ahead and get that formatted. So you're just going to go to settings system. You're going to go down here all the way at the bottom, I believe, to formatting options. I know it's probably hard to see it, but I promise it's really easy to find. And then there is a format micro SD card. So you are just going to go ahead and hit that. It's going to make sure that you know that it's going to delete all the data. Hit continue. Um, it's going to really ask you again. So it really wants to make sure that you know what you're doing before you do this. Um, yeah, it says the micro SD card has been formatted. The console will restart. So after that, it's going to go off, come back on again. After this comes back on, we are going to completely power it down the same way we did before and then remove that SD card again. Next, back over here on our computer, you're going to take out that SD card that we just formatted. So this is the one that you want to upgrade to, right? Go ahead and put it back into your USB reader, um, pop it up, and you're going to see that it now has this Nintendo folder. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to delete that, right? Because we want to put our old Nintendo folder in there. So I just opened up that um, file that we created earlier open it up. Here's the Nintendo folder we want. So we're going to drag that over. And just like before, we are going to play the waiting game and let this transfer. So it looks like this should take about 20 minutes. The files are finally done moving. So now it's time for the moment of truth. So what I did is I safely ejected the SD card from the computer, took it out, put it in my system, turned the system on, and lo and behold, everything is here. So um, the, one of the quickest ways to tell if it worked is to go to your album, see if your screenshots and old videos are there, which these are, or you can even pick a game. So I actually chose um, Let's Go Pikachu because it does not support cloud saves. So just to kind of prove that, you know, that the saves did move with the SD card, we're going to see if this has save data on it. And there you have it. 61 hours of playtime that was safely moved with the system. Okay, that's all I have for now. If you all have any questions about how to do this process or you're still confused, go ahead, leave a comment below, and I will try to help you out to the best of my ability. And that is it for this video. I hope you like what you see, and if you want to, maybe hit that subscribe button or even check me out on one of my other platforms. Hope to see you again soon.